Hey guys, you're watching Droid Crunch. I'm Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, we are going to talk about masking in CapCut, and let's see how we can effectively do masking. So here, I have imported this image over here. Uh, this image is of, is of Mahin Singh Dhoni, and let's click on this. And when you click, all the option and properties sidebar will pop up and open. And here you can find this option mask. Okay, just click on it. By default, it is set to none. Now you can click on horizontal to enable the horizontal masking. With the masking property, you can also adjust its feather as well. You can rotate the mask and you can position it on X axis and the Y axis. And you can also set keyframe animation on the masking. So let's increase its feather a little bit. So increasing it like this will work like this. You can also increase or decrease feathers by moving this button over here. Here you can see. Okay. So this is the same whether you do it from here or you do it from here. You can rotate the mask from this button. Okay, like this. And just click on this mask line and you can move it by pressing shift and holding shift button you can move the mask and it will not you know divert from its y-axis as you can see if you are moving vertically and if it is here okay like this and now if you move it uh, and you press shift it will not change its x-axis okay so uh, if you're moving from either axis press shift so that uh, it doesn't change the other axis okay hold the shift key now you can animate it let me show you how just move it down by pressing shift and it looks like this now i will enable the keyframe animation over here add a keyframe and at this point after one second i will move this mask by pressing shift and something like this and now if i play it looks like this very satisfying isn't it so this is how you can animate uh, masks and use them you can also use a mirror mask where you get you know uh, masking from both the sides in horizontal masking you only got one uh, mask from one side like this okay uh, but on the mirror you get it from the both the sides so if you change this uh, the opposite side will also change like this so this mask is very useful uh, when you are you know looking to have a movie kind of an animation let me show you how so just click on it and add an animation now move your playhead one second away and now drag it down something like this and see what we can get okay you can also smooth your mask uh, smooth your keyframes like uh, click on the right button over here click on show keyframe animation or simply uh, press alt plus key k and it will open up this option now uh, we have you know changed uh, a few properties like if you did the if you do this its size is changing right so just click on the size and it will, it will open up these properties now click on this and you will get this graph option just click on graphs you have all the options to enable ease in ease in two is in three ease out and all of these Remember if you click any of these options, the graph over here will also change. If I click this, the graph will change. Okay. And you can use use it to you know change its property as well. Now if I play, so it is a bit smooth than before. Right? Based on your timing, you can also adjust something is it is not having a bounce effect so if we move a little bit up the bounce effect will vanish away and if we change the timing and move it away a bit more 
and do something like this now you can see how smooth we have got so this is how you can uh, animate your masks and also enable smoothing and keyframe animation to them now let's see and explore more masks we have got the same way we can uh, use uh, circle masks circle masks can be used uh, when you are recording videos you have uh, one you know your face recording video and on the behind you have other video then you can use this kind of a mask to you know uh, only cut out the area where your face is and on the back you can you know show other video so that is also useful in that case you can also remember feather to it as well something like this and yeah this is very very useful you can animate it the same way we did in the mirror mask and then you have this rectangle mask over here okay like this so for example you can animate it in a very different way just come over here press shift and you get this kind of animation and this is the feather you get okay like this now if you move keep it here go on the first frame add an animation a keyframe animation now come to this one second and move it here right you can also move your keyframe to two seconds and now play so this is how it works you can just decrease the timing as well to get the effect that you want and you can also increase the feather a little bit more and change some properties to get the effect that you may need and yeah this is how it works let me show you so isn't it exciting so this was all for today's video I hope you enjoyed learning about masking CapCut. If you enjoyed or learned something new, please consider subscribe. And uh, I upload these kind of videos quite often on my channel. So yeah, please subscribe and leave a comment so that I may know about your feedback. See you in the next video.